Hello, welcome to the channel Daily Entomologist. Um, to get things rolling, I'm going to do a, a quick overview of my current insect collection. Um, this is not all of it. I am, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do this uh, tour in two separate videos. Um, this is just the first part. Uh, but I had to make sure I get a little bit organized, so I'm going to start at the, discuss what's going on in the little middle part here, and then just work our way around the room until we get back here. And then that'll be part one, and part two will be the rest. That's obviously. Anyway, to get things started, uh, I have a little, my little workspace here, just getting labels on all these uh, specimens that I caught last summer. And I just... Uh, there's a label there. The label's there that I cut them out. Um, and all the specimens in, these, in the white field boxes here, over there, and couple over there and up there are all ones that I'm currently putting labels on right now. Um, that's all. Get a little close up of the ones in this box. And you got beetles, wasps, some bugs. You see it got a couple tiger beetles there. Uh, Dogbane beetles, uh, a couple spider wasps. Uh, this one, there's a Parnassian, Rocky Mountain Parnassian, uh, type of, uh, in the same swallowtail family. Um, here's a couple pale swallowtails, the really thick black ones, or the ones with the really thick. Uh, black tiger stripes are pale swallowtails. And this right here is a, uh, that, this is a western tiger swallowtail. And you can kind of see the more yellow in it than the more creamy color of the other species. Uh, it's a couple of cicadas, uh, some more beetles, some bumblebees. Uh, Got a couple of technid flies. Not coming in very well. A uh, couple blue species, a uh, Nessus faints right here. Um, some skippers, I got a little juniper hair streak. That green one right there. Uh, some Fritillaries. Uh, this box is uh, some more of the same ones. You got a silver spotted skipper right there. Uh, some more beetles, some small bees, fritillaries, sulfurs. Uh, got a couple wood nymphs. Uh, a couple of coppers right there. Uh, some grasshoppers. There's a Carolina grasshopper with the black hind wing right there. Um, then, uh, as soon as I get labels on those, I put them in these uh, 28 quart tubs for temporary until I, as soon as I get more uh, drawers to put stuff in. Uh, but this tub right here, I put in the butterflies that I get labels on. Um, we see another pale swallowtail, and the big swallowtail next to it is a two-tailed swallowtail. Uh, you got a couple marbles, some more swallowtails, frigolary, skippers. There's some blues, a couple more coppers. Uh, got some commas, uh, wood nymph, morning cloak. 
all that fun stuff. We got a Melissa Blue right there with the orange on the outlining the wing right there. Um, so I'll move on to a couple more boxes over here. Uh, look over here. Got a couple butterflies. You got a underside look of a variegated uh, fritillary. Uh, top and bottom view of a cabbage white. Uh, a lot of small ants. A large ground beetle. Some bombus. Couple tiger beetles, uh, and the grasshoppers with the wings out are uh, Arphia conspersa, which can have multiple different types of wing colors. So, at this place I found uh, yellow winged individuals and more uh, pinkish winged individuals. Uh, this box here, uh, more. Blues, I got a couple really well marked common ringlets. Uh, some large marbles there. Uh, Western pine elfin. Some uh, crescents. A couple whites. Small, a couple of some small bees, beetles. Uh, some more stuff over here. Got this. This swallowtail here is a Indra swallowtail. That's yeah, a Western green hair streak right there. And hopefully, you can focus. That's a little better. I uh, got some more Melissa blues. Yeah. Carrion beetle up there. That black one with the orange markings. Uh, I'm going to uh, the first Cornell drawer here. I had to do a, I was doing a presentation. I brought a, just took some, some of my largest insets and threw them in a box here. I got uh, some, my largest bees, wasps. Uh, I got a cicada killer there. Uh, Cecropia moth. Got a Eastern Lubber Grasshopper. I uh, got the uh, Dragon Hunter uh, Sphinx. Uh, female Eastern Dobson Fly. I really want a male just so I can have those awesome uh, display of those big uh, mandibles. A uh, giant water bug. You got a Stayed Beetle. Uh, I'd eat later. Uh, a prionid, a diving beetle that looks like a hydrophilid. Uh, cottonwood borer right there. Got a few of those. Those are awesome, amazing large beetles. Uh, Tabanus, Atratus. I think it's Atratus. Uh, these are the huge horse flies. Uh, this. That's uh, some decently large beetles. A uh, couple cool looking skippers right there. Uh, painted ladies. Uh, grasshopper, a couple large wasps. Uh, quite a few, a couple, dif couple different species of taffnid flies. Uh, they've kind of grown on me quite a bit, are now one of my favorite. Fly, fly, fly families. And here we got a couple uh, mantid flies. And see that the mantid shape, forearms. Uh, moving on to the chair, we got a few boxes over here. Here's some, uh, let's see. And yeah, some more large marbles. Another Indra swallowtail. You can see how it's almost lacking uh, the tail on the hind wings there. 
some sulfurs, blues, uh, awesome tater beetles, some ants, other beetles, grasshoppers. Uh, kind of more same down here. Uh, here's some uh, orange tips and some marbles. Uh, some elfins up there. A couple, two different species of elfin. Uh, some more blues. Uh, clearing moth. A couple more bombus tiger beetles. Uh, this one has some more swallowtails. Uh, Anis swallowtails there. Pale swallowtail. Two-tailed and western swallowtail. We got a Wedemeyer's admiral. Uh, some Anisia checker spots there. These orange ones. There's a thing. Tiger moth. Uh, cicadas. More bees. Beetles. Got Io moth there. Uh, then just more. The same old. This uh, Cornell drawer here is all grasshoppers. Not all my grasshoppers, just filled with grasshoppers. And uh, right it down here, we got some uh, Melanopolis uh, differentialis, uh, differential grasshopper. Uh, even got a mating specimens there. Uh, got some bird grasshoppers. Uh, sulfur, sulfur wing grasshoppers. Uh, let's see, some bulls wing, uh, bull, bulls wing, uh, bulls grasshoppers. Uh, there's some uh, uh, Melanopolis femurubrum in here. Uh, uh, here's a tray of pygmy grasshoppers of various species. And uh, this drawer here has flies in it. Uh, this one, this tray has some of my mosquitoes that I've gone through so far. We have some uh, Anopheles, Aedes, this Aedes triceratus, um, Anopheles, Seraphra, got a few species of Seraphra. Um, and then the rest are more just random flies. We got some nice sized robber flies here. Uh, some more, a couple of different species of horse flies. Uh, some more smaller robber flies, uh, horse flies. Here's a couple of robber flies uh, for bee mimics. Let's see if I can get a little better look at those ones. Those are some of my favorites right there. Uh, got some uh, bee flies in here. Some more robber flies. Come on, focus. There you go. Bee flies, some more robber flies, and smaller hover flies. Uh, some larger hover flies, more robber flies. Couple more bee mimic robber flies there. Um, and last but not least, for part one, we are up in uh, this last little section here. Trying. Uh oh. Through without knocking anything over. Uh, these four uh, drawers here are filled with uh, beetles. Uh, before I go through those, I'm going to just do this one real quick. This other tub is where I'm putting the non-butterflies stuff I get labeled. I'm putting them in here, separate from the butterflies. And uh, I got Katie Dids, uh, mostly Hymenopter in here, uh, some beetles, uh, some more technid flies.
So this drawer here has a lot of smaller beetles in it. Uh, got a here's a net wing beetle. Uh, a little oil beetle, Meloe. A couple larger scarab. Got a couple uh, large dun beetles right there. Uh, Buprestid. A lot of ground beetles. Uh, a couple uh, dogbane beetles right there. A couple large ground beetles. Uh, this one here. Some uh, both hydrophilid and ditistid diving beetles. Uh, a couple large ID laters. Uh, some other more random type beetles. Another really nice size Buprestid. Right in the corner there. I see uh, another really cool looking longhorn beetle right there with the orange electri, uh, uh, Electra. Got another, got a more metallic green Buprestid there. Uh, a couple larger ground beetles. Some more scarabs over here. Uh, some, a lot of small beetles in this one. Uh, this drawer right here, a lot of, most of the stuff right here has some IDs. There's uh, cottonwood borers, uh, some epicotta, vitatus, uh, striped blister beetles. Uh, some, uh, these are some uh, delta scarabs. Covers keep falling down. Uh, uh, Trichodes up there. Uh, grapevine beetle. Uh, green June bugs. Uh, some Euphoria scarabs. Uh, a couple of state beetles there. Uh, Prionid. Uh, lady beetles. A couple species in there. Uh, there we got a Colleonathus pennsylvanicus, really common soldier beetle. I now have a few soldier beetle species. Um, here's a Tetropes uh, tetrathamus, the red milkweed beetle. Let's see if I focus, okay. And uh, these three here are actually uh, Tetropes femoratus. Another different species. We got some solitaire of dog bane beetles there. Uh, Ammonia aceritis, the Asian lady beetle that's found everywhere. Pest annoying. Uh, this is another species of Colleonathus. Uh, uh, got some carrion beetles there. Some more. Lady beetles, uh, milkweed leaf beetle right there. Some large uh, caterpillar hunters. Chalosoma sei. Uh, Japanese beetles find everywhere. Uh, start of my. These are a lot of my, many of my t tiger beetles that I already have labeled in there. I think I'm up to maybe 16 species and subspecies of tiger beetles. Uh, some more uh, Epicotta blister beetles. More random small beetles, weevils. Some scarabs, uh, hispine beetles up in this one. Um, uh, yeah, kind of had to do this one quick. Try to get as much of the uh, stuff as possible, but eventually I'm going to be 
getting them more organized and labeled and ID'd. I'll be able to, or planning on doing more uh, in-depth videos of each individual, in each individual species. Uh, so you'll be, be able to get a better look. I just want to do a quick overview. Uh, and again, this is also only part one. Uh, part two, I'll try and do as quickly as possible. Uh, so, like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos on the awesome world of insects. Talk to you soon.